Welcome back. We're joined now by Dr. Ann Cockrell. She's a faculty member at Frontier Nursing University and the author of a new book entitled Rooted in the Mountains, Reaching to the World, Stories of Nursing and Midwifery at Kentucky's Frontier School. Uh, doctor, it's good to have you with us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful book. Thank you. And uh, as a student of history, you're passionate about it. I'm, yes. I'm uh, really looking forward to diving into it a little deeper. Excellent. It's just filled with gorgeous photography. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, what a rich history uh, and, and what an opportunity for your, your students, I would think, to, to be able to go this far back and, and see what a, a part of history they're now playing. Yes, absolutely. Our university today is a distance learning university, mm. but this book covers a time in which it was a residential university, a residential school right. in southeastern Kentucky. Okay. And at the time this was the only way to do it this was the only game in town wasn't there well there were at for the majority of that time there were about three different places a person could go to study midwifery mm. um, one of the big ones was in New York City but what drew a lot of students to the school was that they were interested in becoming missionaries in international settings ah. so being in a remote area of mountainous southeastern Kentucky right. really lent itself well to learning how to practice when they would get to Africa or the Philippines or wow. you know, other places. Okay. What, uh, as you researched and, and prepared and wrote the book, what uh, what did you uncover? You know, little gems from antiquity that really struck you, I guess. Sure. Well, you know, the book was a product of not only my research in the archives, but also um, about a hundred students from the modern day version of the school mm. interviewed um, uh, alumni from this era. Oh, fantastic. So we called those pioneers. So this is sort of, you know, the unofficial name is the pioneer book. I see. So those students had the opportunity to interview those graduates. And I think we sort of gave birth to about a hundred new budding historians because wow. it was so exciting for them to see what they're doing today and to link it back to what was going on in 1939, you know, 1950, 1960. Right. Fascinating. Um, how much has changed and how much, how much has stayed the same? I, oh, I think the heart of what we do as nurses and nurse midwives and nurse practitioners is exactly the same, where we involve the family and give respectful care right. and that sort of thing. Of course, we have much different technology now sure. in our care and in our education. Hmm, that's fantastic. Well, and for people to, to learn more about uh, what the school has to offer, mm -hmm. uh, yes. we have a website at the bottom of yes. the screen there to find out more. How do people get a hold of this wonderful book? Well, there's a link through our website, but if they want to go directly, they can do frontier.edu forward slash pioneer book. Okay. Well, again, what a wonderful opportunity for your students to, to link themselves to this proud tradition and, sure. and heritage that you enjoy. And uh, for the rest of us to learn a little bit more about what you do and, and how it was done in the, the third to today. Yes. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Thank you. Well, we're looking forward to diving in a little more and uh, encourage you to do the same. Check out the website at the bottom of your screen and we'll be back with more for you right after this. Looking for something to do in Lexington and Central Kentucky this week?